Hey, how's it going? Ryan here from Fluxspace. And today in our test lab, we are going to be checking out ways to cut cardboard. So part of what we do here is help schools create these cool maker spaces. And one of the most widely used materials in maker spaces is cardboard. It's readily available, comes in boxes, and it's a pretty cool way to upcycle materials. One of the toughest things to do, though, is cutting cardboard safely. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. So what we wanted to do was find a whole bunch of tools out there that schools are using or maybe not using, showing you different ways that you can cut cardboard. So for this test, we made a template. For each of these cardboard cutters, we're gonna test things like a straight line, a circle, the amount of effort it takes, and how safe it is. Things that we're gonna be testing. We have the Clever Cutter. Sound if I almost cut myself. The Canary Arm Wrestler. Voltec Electric Scissors. I'm glad it scared me a little bit. The Works Zip Snip. The Slice, the Safex Cardboard Cutter, and then a Canary Cardboard Cutter. So through the tests, uh, we went through and kind of analyzed very sophisticated data here in Test Lab, and we came up with a couple conclusions. Uh, first off, the safest one uh, would be your Clever Cutter. We thought this one was pretty safe and did a lot better of a job cutting than we thought so. Uh, it takes a little bit of an effort, so some of the younger guys might have trouble with this, but it does a pretty good job in terms of cutting both straight lines. Uh, struggle a little bit on circles, but definitely is doable. Um, in terms of cost, this is also the most cost-effective one. Um, so the Clever Cutter, we give it a thumbs up, and um, pretty, good, pretty good call on the Clever Cutter. Canary Cutter did a pretty good job. A little bit dangerous, as you can tell from our lost finger, but like any beefy scissors, uh, didn't take much effort, cut really well. Just gotta be a little bit careful with the canary cardboard cutter. The, probably the most impressive, uh, and the one that I think uh, we definitely underrated when we were checking these out, was the electric scissors. Oh. I can lie, that felt pretty good. So not only did this cut pretty easy straight lines, it cut pretty good circular lines. Uh, it's very safe in terms of where you could actually get cut from. Um, and by ease of use and stuff, this actually was pretty good. So right now, this probably is the top pick uh, for what we're considering the safest way to cut cardboard. That's the best thing I ever saw. The Works Zip Snip did really good in terms of effort, cut really great straight lines, but struggled a lot on those curved shaped cuts. So if all you're cutting is straight lines of cardboard, this guy works out pretty well. The one that didn't work the most uh, was this guy. We got a little excited about this fancy, uh, you know, finger hole there for like a better grip. But I think in terms of like the depth on these grooves uh, wasn't as impressive. I am sweating. And it took a lot of effort to cut. This was the messiest one uh, and the one that we struggled with the most. The Canary Cutter did a little bit better than this one. Uh, could be a little bit dangerous if you slip or if you go past the finger. This one did a pretty good job cutting. This is also one of the messier things as, that, as when you're cutting the cardboard pieces flake off. Um, all in all though, pretty inexpensive, effective tool with a little bit of danger, not too bad. Danger is my middle name. The slice one was pretty easy to hold and handle. It has a ceramic blade, so it's not too dangerous. Pretty good for scoring and kind of a couple passes of cutting cardboard. Really hard, almost impossible though to cut curve shaped and circles. So overall, not bad for cutting lines, but again, um, something you want to be looking at if you're trying to cut curve shapes. So some final thoughts for this episode of Test Lab. Uh, the one that we like the most, but yet is the most expensive, is the Voltec electric scissors. So this is right around $40, um, but all in all was the easiest to use, cut straight lines, cut circular lines, um, and was also one of the safer options. So this is pretty good. If cost is an issue, the Clever Cutter was probably the most cost effective. You can get five or six of these or a 10 pack for I believe under $20. So this one would be the most cost effective. Did require a lot of effort, 
but also a safe option uh, for a lot of the younger kids. Easily cut straight lines, did pretty good on the circular lines, uh, but pretty good option in terms of the cost. Uh, you also can't go wrong with the canary cardboard cutters or any type of standard scissors. You just got to be really careful though because this can do some damage for those younger guys. No, that's a lot of damage! All of this information, the way that we broke it down in the test cut, can be found on our website under cardboard cutting, we call this cutoff? The cardboard cutting cutoff or cardboard cutters. We're going to link the blog post in our description. Also, all of these links to where you can find these on Amazon will be in the description below as well. So thanks for joining us for this episode of Test Lab. Appreciate it and have some fun creating.